Will the new ad revenue policies from YouTube affect your revenue on your YouTube channel? In this video, I'm going to tell you what some of those changes are, how they might affect you or not. And are you being robbed from YouTube? I saw a video out the other day and it said, you are being robbed. Let's, let's find out. The first thing I want to do is go over where the monetization is on your video content, channel content, and then go over the different options that you have. When you go to upload, you're going to see a tab up in the right hand corner when you go into your channel. And when, after you upload the video, you're going to have a choice on the second tab up here at the top and it's monetization. So these are your details. You go in here, you can edit everything on your page, but when you go to monetization, you have the, you have the right to either turn it on or turn it off. Some people don't want ads on their videos, but if you do, you want to make some ad revenue money, then you're going to turn this on. And the way it's set up right now is you can choose depending on the length of your video, what you want to put, what kind of ads you want. And in this typical and in, in this one here it is over eight minutes so I can choose skippable 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 ads I can do non-skippable um, I can have one before the video mid-roll or post so I can go in and uncheck these and choose what I want or don't want in the new policy you will not get to choose what you want the only choice that you're going to have is whether or not you want to turn ads on or off. If you turn it on, YouTube's algorithms will decide which ads are going to be on your video. And you can, and they'll come in and put the ones that they think make the most sense. Is this robbing you? I don't believe it will. I think it's just easier for YouTube within their algorithm to be able to put them on. Most people probably select all of them anyway. I always just select all of them. I never go in and try to even think about it. I just let the ads play as they will. So for me, it's not really going to make a difference. If you, if you feel like certain placements of ads will bring you more or less revenue, then you might want to watch and see if it changes anything. Three of the most common ad formats are skippable video ads. And these are ads that viewers can skip after five seconds. You remember how that timer's there and it says skip this stuff. And they will be found on computers, mobile devices, TV, and game consoles. They play, and then after five seconds, the viewer can say, I don't want to watch this. Non-skippable ads are pretty similar, but the only difference is that the ad will run 15 to 20 seconds in length before you can say, hey, I don't want to watch this. So it just runs a little bit longer, and I'm sure the person paying for the ad pays a little bit more. There's also what's called a bumper ad. They're short, they're non-skippable, and they're up to six seconds. And they, they're kind of watched in between videos. So before the video is even viewed, you're going to see that bumper ad. These are played automatically now in shorts. So if you're sitting there watching a bunch of shorts one after the other, the ads run in between the shorts, not in the video, because obviously they're only up to 60 seconds. So what does this mean for you? Do you have to go back and reset everything? No. Any any videos that already have your ads set, the way that you have them set will stay the same. This change will not take place until November. If you, however, have not added any ads to your videos, you can go and do it in a bulk action. You can go over here and select all the videos that you want. I, I don't want to go back and do all of mine, but you can select everything that you have. Then you can go over here and select edit and then select monetization and then be sure that that's what you want. If you want them on or you want them off and you can select that right here, okay? So if you've had everything off and you wanna make sure everything, all of your videos, you want them on, you can do it all at once or you can go in and turn them all off at once. And then they will go, um, they will just follow the new format if you do this after November. If like I said, you don't want to change anything, then leave, leave everything alone and you'll be fine going forward. It would be interesting I'm sure to see how some of these big channels are affected. I personally do not think it'll make that big of a difference because like I said, most people just leave all the ad choices on anyway. I don't think people overthink this. So there you go. I don't think you're being robbed. Um, let me know what you think.